I did that. I just did that. Awesome. I am thrilled that I did that. That's what I wanted to do up there. I, th there's so much to do. There's so much I can get done that I'm, I should not get frustrated with myself. Hey everybody, before the vlog gets started, I wanna just talk to you about this little contraption I got here. This is a portable power station made by Joysis. It is uh, off Amazon, and I'm just gonna talk to you guys just briefly about it. Packaging is actually quite nice for what for a portable power station that you get off of Amazon. Some things that I'm gonna unpackage here, and we don't need that anymore. Owner's manual, styrofoam. You got this little portable power station. Now I wanna talk to you guys about this because I've talked a lot about portable power stations in my channel before. Uh, I've showed a lot of them off, um, but I don't show off too many of the little ones. The little ones I really do like, this is a 300 watts or 300, like, well, it's actually 300 watts as in the inverter, but it's also a 300, watt hours which is an accumulative of about 25 amp hours which you may think that's not a lot it's not a lot compared to the ones that i have shown on my channel in comparison to that it would be kind of hard to do a gaming laptop on something like this but these things are phenomenal for like tent camping uh for car camping i mean look at the weight of it it is small in size and that is why i wanted to kind of show this off which you can also get the link below this is a stocking stuffer i guess uh for the holidays i actually want to keep this as like backup power for my like my new van build very easy to turn on and off i just turned it on by that button very easy indicator of where how how much power you've used um there's even lights on here if you wanted to shine some light out in the areas of camping i guess there's a little button here for your inverter which is just one little socket it would be perfect for like a macbook or something that doesn't take a lot of charge to it and there's even another light i don't know where this one that one's the bigger one that one's the big that one's the bigger light oh my goodness that's bright Okay, we're gonna shut that off. USB ports, it's got a quick charge port, it's got a C port. The little solar panels you can take backpacking, those things are really great for something like this. All right, let's get back to the video because you guys are probably wondering how far I got into this week's van build. Hey, hey, hey everybody. Another video, another, another vlog, another build vlog, another whatever the heck you wanna call it. Shout out to my boy, Mark at Nomadic Customs because honestly, I don't know where I'd be without that man because I lease space from him. Yes, I do pay him. He does not give me this space for free. If you guys see the light in the back, I'm using barely any power. My power is actually coming from the portable power stations that I have accumulated over time. Now, the Aspen, which is a Light Harvest Solar portable power station, uh, that is going to be the battery source or the, or the power source for this entire van. I do have one extension cable going to an, from an outlet to like my table saw or other things so my point is is most of my building is either cordless tools or i use power sources enough out of that i just released last builds video i'm recording this on sunday and i just released the other one you know some people said i was tired i just wasn't i i, I looked tired i looked like defeated no guys I recorded a lot of that stuff at the end of my work day. So as you can see, I am rather peppy in the beginning of the work day. And then by the time I am done building for either four hours or eight hours or whatever it may be, I am freaking exhausted. In this video, I hope to do the floor and I started already, <laughs> it was like a reveal. I started already laying down, uh, this is the electric floor heating pad it's a 12 volt heating pad i did a video about uh this as well as the company that distributes this which is expedition upfitter i also will be using that company as their heating system which is a portable it's a diesel heater also why am i using plank flooring over sheet sheet is extremely easy um especially if you have a template if you have a template like a floor template which i used to have and i got rid of the thing and I'm, that was kind of dumb on my part then you can use that for the sheet and just cut your sheet out and then bada bing bada boom you get yourself a floor the vinyl plank flooring is great uh normally i actually leave the subfloor underneath the cabinets and under like it's just bare in the back if it was a platform bed but this time i'm doing it a little different i'm actually i'm going to be running the vinyl plank throughout the entire floor i don't know if i'm gonna get the whole thing laid today but i'm gonna try my darn
about to put the Expedition Upfitter 12 volt heated floor mat up to its test. We're gonna test the concrete temperature right now. 57, give or take. Subfloor temperature, 59. Where the heated floor pad is. There it is, 74. That's pretty good. And if I move off the heated floor pad area, back down to 60. I've had a very busy week um, in regards to digital work and not so much on the van. I did put the floor in. I think that's where I left off. And that was a few days ago and I haven't turned on the camera since. Right now I'm kind of designing the bed situation, the whole bed, everything underneath. And that'll kind of dictate the rest of the floor plan and measurements wise. What else have I done? I put in, you may not see it until I turn the camera, the end pieces of the ceiling board. Small little detour takes a long time. Like that back trim piece, that piece is gonna take a minute. Uh, this is gonna take me the rest of the day, but I've only been coming down here for like an hour, two, three hours at the most. So I happen to be able to like get into a groove and that's really what's been frustrating to me this week. It is what it is, and you just gotta have to roll with the punches. Like so many of you out there, I also work kind of like a full-time job. I, I do all of my YouTube stuff. So I go out and do tours, product videos, and so really that is my full-time job, and I'm still trying to do this as my side. So I can relate with a lot of people out there. One of the reasons why I actually have to leave today is because I'm going live. I'm filming this on Friday, and I'm going live on the project.vanlife Instagram account. And that is gonna be a Friday evening thing, 5 p.m. Eastern, excuse me, 8 p.m. Eastern, 5 p.m. Pacific. I'm not frustrated with doing that kind of stuff. I love doing that kind of stuff. It's just like my time management has been very difficult on myself. Like I screwed that up. It's just been a frustrating week. On top of all of that, the wood that I'm using for my cabinetry still is not here. better today than I did yesterday. Frustrating week with uh, supply chains. Oh, you want to be on camera? This is Hazel, everybody. Hello. What's up, Hazel? <laughs> you know, the roof. <laughs> <laughs> what up? Uh, Hazel's doing a bus build across the way. Um, yeah. One of Nomadic employees is helping her as well, right? Yeah, he's also my boyfriend. Yeah, yeah, I, I you know, didn't want to put you on blast like that, no, but no, hey, okay. by all means. It's okay, we just moved in. You, together? Yeah. Into the bus? No, oh. not yet. Oh. Mm, maybe ever. This is my bus. Oh, yeah. Um, We're going to uh, check out your bus eventually. Yeah, eventually. Not in this one. Not this one. No, you want to show it off. You want to no. show it off in its best light. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yep, no, no, maybe not for a couple months. <laughs> All right, fair enough. Why don't you plug yourself? We can do a little, a little uh, plug. Yeah, you want to uh, do like my, my IG, my, Whatever you want. my TikTok. talk. Oh, you want to do the TikTok? talk? <laughs> I oh, you're big on TikTok. No. What's your following? Like 65,000. That's more than me, but I don't, I don't have don't a post. You don't do TikTok. No, I don't. <laughs> What's your um, TikTok? talk? My TikTok talk is the same as my Instagram, so it's really easy. It's at Hazel's Rad World. Hazel is spelled without an E, H-A-Z-L. Uh, she is a rad, rad person, as well as uh, you are a barrel of fun. I don't know how else to put that. Like, a barrel? I'm a long barrel. Look uh, you at this. are. I know you are. Look, I am short as all <laughs> hell. Uh, but you were a five eleven. Yeah. Yeah. Six foot in my boots. Yeah. Are you? Well, yeah. look at you. She's yeah. she's amazing. She's full <laughs> of energy. Everybody's hype person. Um, absolute Dunkle. sweetheart. Cares a lot about people. <laughs> Uh, so go give her a follow. Thanks, guys. Hazel's Rad World. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> cool people around the around the shop. You know what I mean? 
I did that. I just did that. Awesome. I am thrilled that I did that. That's what I wanted to do up there. There's so much to do. There's so much I can get done that I'm, I should not get frustrated with myself. Like, look, I can, I can frame out the back doors. I can start building the bed area. I can put fabric over that, that yellow in the back there. I can do what I did today. I still gotta frame that out, by the way, don't worry. I am actually off to a soccer game. It is the Portland Timbers. It is the semifinals, and they are playing, I believe, Salt Lake. Me, Marty, and Mark are all going to the game today. Uh, Mark got us all tickets, so shout out to you, buddy, Nomadic Customs. I'll get you guys some footage from my phone at the game. Again, this is a playoff game. I'm super excited. If they win today, they go on to the finals. Oh, and while I was cleaning up, I completely forgot that I made this. I don't think I showed this in the video, but this is my rolling ottoman slash toilet box. When I get the other wood that will be a finished wood, I'm going to use that as a this section. Um, but this is my toilet. It's a little Thetford toilet. It's a porta potty toilet, but it's on casters. Yeah, and I made this, and I'm going to have a, a seat up here and why did I make this this lip lower than the, the top is because when I build it up you're gonna want to have this section come off or flip open or whatever right and when you sit on the toilet you know if you do that or you have to pee or poop whatever um, you don't want to you know have your legs hit the thing so you make it a little bit less or a little bit lower you'll see it all when it's all done but I started to make that it's a little this is an ottoman that I'll sit on and roll around the space as well as my toilet box. Instead of like standing and cooking, I'll be sitting and cooking. That's all, excited. Now I can say see you guys later. <laughs>